Welcome back to the Angry American. What's up, ladies and germs? I have some breaking news for you today. Uh, Race Against Time, they are evacuating the U.S. Embassy in Kabul as uh, the Taliban fighters storm the city. And of course, uh, old Joe Biden, Taliban insurgents entered Afghanistan's capital Kabul today sparking a desperate evacuation of American diplomats by helicopter in scenes echoing the sudden fall of Saigon at the end of the Vietnam Vietnam war a US Air Force chopper was seen taking off from the US embassy this morning now hold on one second folks see Biden blames uh, Trump for rapid gains uh, in uh, Taliban's rapid gains in Afghanistan Trump responds, failure through weakness. Now, let me show you this one clippity clip. Watch this. Is a Taliban takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No, it is not. Because you have the Afghan troops have 300,000 well-equipped, as well-equipped as any army in the world, and an air force against something like 75,000 Taliban. It is not inevitable. Now listen, I looked at a story earlier today. I'm not going to dig it back up, but uh, witnesses have seen locals in Kabul, not the Taliban. They've seen that too. But even locals are storming the Afghanistan forces and taking their guns from them. So, Joe, I don't know what's going on, but Either you're lying or you're dumb. Let's get back to the story. Uh, in scenes, uh, we already read that. Uh, helicopters are landing at the U.S. Embassy in Kabul as diplomatic vehicles leave the compound amid the Taliban advanced on the Afghan capital. The desperate evacuation came after the sudden fall of the capital. The sudden fall of Saigon. <laughs> Same deal, man. We pulled out... The, the city of Saigon fell to the communists, and that's what's happening here. The Chinook helicopter was seen in the skies above the city uh, like in 1975 when a U.S. Marine helicopter was seen evacuate, evacuating embassy staff from the South Vietnam capital that marked the end of the Vietnam conflict. It comes as the U.S. steps up its evacuation of Kabul with Taliban fighters surging from all sides. There were no reports of fighting. Taliban spokesmen said the group was in talks with government. For, yeah, peaceful surrender to a terrorist group. Ain't going to happen. The, the entry into the capital caps a lightning advance by the Islamist militants who were ousted 20 years ago by the U.S. after the September 11th attacks. Uh, I guess the U.S. thought they could hold out, but uh, Taliban fighters entered the outskirts of As Afghanistan Afghan capital as panicked workers fled government officers offices boy I'm struggling and helicopters landed smoke rises next to the US Embassy in Kabul uh, you see some anti-missile decoy flares are deployed as US Blackhawk military helicopters and a dirigible dirigible balloon fly over the city of Kabul and you saw that balloon in this photo here uh, one resident told Reuters by phone, some people have left their keys in the car and have started walking to the airport. People are are all going home in fear of fighting. U.S. officials said diplomats were being ferried by helicopter to the airport from its embassy in the fortified Wazir Akbar Khan district. More American troops were being sent to help in the evacuations. Um, let's see, I don't want to read all this. There, are, yeah. A video clip distributed by the Taliban showed people cheering and shouting, of course, Allah Akbar. <laughs> God is greatest. As a convoy of pickup trucks entered the city with fighters brandishing machine guns and the white Taliban flag. The extremists have taken city after city far more quickly than predicted. It's sheer madness, man. So uh, Mike Pompeo slams panicking Biden 
over Taliban's route of Afghanistan after POTUS deploys troops to evacuate embassy. Um, let's see what this looks is. like. There's a bit of panic. I hope that they've got the right number of folks. They can get them there quickly. I hope that we can protect Americans in the way that the Trump administration had every intention of doing as we drew down our forces there. I hope that we are now in a place we can get our folks out of there in a way that is rational and consistent, not only with the need to get our Americans home, but making sure that this ungoverned space doesn't become another hotbed for al-Qaeda or ISIS or some other radical Islamic terrorist group. Anyway, guys, that's the story. Short, sweet, to the point. Biden blaming Trump for his huge failure. The the similarity between the fall of Saigon and the fall of Kabul are the similarities are striking. And if you deny that, you're lying to yourself. You're lying to the world. You might as well shut your hole and know your role. Anyway, guys, as I say in every video, be aware of your surroundings at all times because shit be popping off out here and you don't want to be a victim. Till next time, see Angry America saying, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. <laughs> Comment down below. Smash that notification bell and share the video because we need to get the word out. Peace. Peace. Out.